Star Child, you're so crazy. <laughs> hey guys, this is Donna Bells. Welcome back for more Let's Play Majora's Mask. Link and I are just, you know, hanging out at the bonfire, a few style chilling, having some s'mores. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary at all. <laughs> but as you can see, it is night of the first day. And of course, this graveyard is infested with the walking dead. But I ain't afraid no ghost. In fact, these homies can be pretty chill. As long as you keep your captain's hat on. That's the key. You can even talk to him. Huh? Oh, captain! Uh, excuse me, sir! Of course, you take the mask off. And they're after you! Bah! Quick, put it back on. <laughs> I love the way that they're standing. It's so awkward. You know what it reminds me of? Very Mary Kate. If you've never seen her show on YouTube, it's hilarious. Go watch it right after this video. That's an order. I'm the captain, so you must follow my orders. What are you doing swinging up there? Okay, I guess just keep swinging. Don't have to jump down and salute or anything. Disrespectful little shit. <laughs> just kidding. You can have fun when you're dead too, right? Now, as you can see, there are three soldiers marching around this certain gravestone. So if you read it, it says, The melody that summons the tears of angels rests here. Oh, it's so beautiful and poetic. I want something awesome like that written on my gravestone. Now, let's see what these guys are doing. What the hell? Ah, Captain, sir! Excuse me, sir! Everyone, give the captain your attention. Nice. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir! As per your order, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Hmm, open the grave. That seems creepy. Let's do it. Uh, uh, open it? Oh, man. Even the scary skeletons seem apprehensive. This can't be good. Shit. Something tells me this is highly disrespectful. But, uh... YOLO BITCHES! Beneath the grave. Now, as you can see, there is more than one entrance down here. That's because we're actually going to be destroying a grave and going into it every single night. Of course, in this one, as you can tell by the hint on the uh, gravestone, we're looking for a certain melody. Oh wait, we can't stop here. This is bat country. Now, one thing that's very convenient about killing these bats without getting hurt is using this stone mask. It's awesome. It may take a lot longer than, say, using arrows or just turning into, like, a Deku Link? Pinky poo if you will. But at least you don't get hurt. They don't even notice you, which is ballin'. Love it. Of course, you can always just turn into Link and uh, spam your spin attack or use your arrows, whatever, for the last couple. Did that bat just fly backwards? Impossible. But, you know, Nintendo logic, what can you say? Ugh, these bats are so huge. If I saw anything like this in real life, I would be running my ass out of this bitch like straight up Ace Ventura. Oh my gosh. These are like flying cats, but not as cute. Little tiny bats like at the zoo are pretty cute, but you know, they're not out in the wild and can get caught in your hair and... Oh! <laughs> nice! I've always wanted to glitch a cutscene like this and land on top of a chest. That's awesome. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Rupees! My face is beaming! And as you can see, I actually put the rest of my rubies that I got yesterday. Rupees. Did I just say rubies? I hate when people call rupees rubies. It's annoying. But, yeah, I put them in my um, bank because, um, actually, you get a lot of money here in these graves, so. <laughs> Grave robbers. Hello. Dinky poo. How disrespectful. Alright, so before we go into this next room, I wanted to point out these, I believe they're roots. They might not be because it looks like there's two trunks here in the room, but judging from the vicinity of where that tree was, where that stall child was swinging from, I believe we're right under it. And plus they look really creepy, like the hands trying to grab you, so I love the design in here. Of course. When do I not love the design? Alright, gonna put on my bunny hood because I'm gonna need it in this next room, oh god. You know what this is. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> Look at Link, he's antsy. He's ready to fight. Boom! All right, so the best way to fight an iron knuckle. Ooh, that, 
Not like that. Not like that. You see how many hearts he just got rid of? You get hit, I believe, three times at this point, and I will die. So just hit him and then jump back. And once he loses his... No! 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 no. You do not kill my Linky Poo. That is not happening. That's right, bitch. That is right. <laughs> see, that was pretty fast with the Gilded Sword. Yeah. I love the purple curtain. So is this like a theater and a grave? Ooh. What's this? Are you the one who freed my soul? <laughs> Eek! It's a ghosty. Now, if you've played Ocarina, we've definitely seen this guy before. I serve the Ikana royal family. I am the composer called Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here are all composed by my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. This, sirs, is why Majora's Mask is a very dark game. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. So, remembering the inscription that was carved on the tombstone, if we're sending this guy's soul to heaven, he will be an angel, and the inscription will be 100% true. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. Oh, I love that scene. So creepy, but also very poetic. Of course, there's some Hylian here, or I guess Terminian, <laughs> I think. And of course, it says the same thing that he just said. And here's the song that shall cleanse his cursed black soul. And this, of course, is my favorite ocarina tune. Keep this song in your heart. Uh. It'll always be in my heart. Uh -huh. That's so corny. But seriously, this is my favorite Zelda ocarina tune. Just ever. I love any remix of it. You remembered the Song of Storms. Of course, I love that they put in remembered because obviously Link has played this song in his lifetime. This melody that you've heard before is the turbulent tune that blows curses away. Nice. And I love that it's actually a healing song in this game, whereas in Ocarina, it was very negative, rather. Especially on a certain somebody. I was just looking around at all the colors in here, especially this bright pastel motif on the ground. I mean, it's beautiful, but I'm guessing since this is like a theater, all the bright colors do make sense. Before I leave, rest in peace, Flat. Alrighty, y'all. Well, we survived night one. Barely. By the skin of our teeth there. Ridiculous. But anyway, now that I'm done, I will actually meet you back above ground on night two. Alright guys, so it's actually day two. I just wanted to show you how many bats are in this graveyard. Ah, they've come for revenge for their brothers. Their fallen brethren that I killed. Why they're all out during the day, I have no idea. Like, aren't bats supposed to be out at night? Let's talk to him, see what he has to say. There are a lot of bats out today. I don't like bats. I wish they'd go away. <laughs> he needs a new job so bad. Of course, if you're low on hearts like I was, look at this, all the hearts. Heart, 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 heart. Oh. Okay, guys, I'll meet you back at night two. Here we are. Of course, as you can see, all the very merry Kate soldiers are surrounding another gravestone. <laughs> That's just what I'm gonna call them from now on. I mean, they're like a bag of bones, just like the Olsen twins. And they wear terrible skirts. God, their fashion sense is just bad. Y you can't deny it. The leader squad is in front of that grave over there, sir! Hmm. 
That's cool. I never knew he said that. I guess they're all the squad leaders because if you talk to any one of them, they all say the same thing. So, oh wait, I don't actually want to open the grave. I want to read it first. So, keep on guarding it and I'll be right back. Let's see, man. A piece that heals the wounded soul rests here. Oh, like a piece of ass that always heals my soul. When one who possesses eyes that can see the truth arrives, the peace far below shall awaken. Wow, that one was really poetic. I like it. All right, let's get go. Oh, whoops. I definitely spammed through that. Open it. Right now. Yes. Uh, uh, open it. Yes, sir. Oh my god. I guess that wasn't the uh, very Mary Kate stall child. That was definitely the butter stall child. So cute. Alrighty, y'all. Before I actually go in and raid this tomb, gotta steal the rupees outside of it. Disrespectful Link is disrespectful. Of course, here's more money! Money, 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 money! But, you know, oh well. If Laura Croft can raid tombs and not be called disrespectful, so can Link. <laughs> now, where do we go here? <gasps> oh my gosh, I just walked through a wall! Which was, in fact, invisible. And if you have even half a brain, you can tell from the inscription on the grave above us that we will be encountering some invisible foes, at least, as you can tell by the sound as well. So, by the hint on the gravestone, we're supposed to be possessing the magic eye to go forward, so you look through the lens of truth and, oh my gosh, bee eaters and keys everywhere! But in order to avoid them and just save your supply, just put on the stone mask! And you totally avoid the spiders, at least. I mean, the keys still know you're in there. I guess they're, like, using their echolocation or something to tell that Link is there. But still, if you run through, you're all good. Now, notice that this wall looks and sounds different from other walls when you hit it with your sword. Well, that there's nothing a good bomb won't fix on a faulty wall, so... Boom! Let's it go. What do we have in this next room? Uh-oh. I have a feeling I'm gonna need this again. <laughs> I definitely will. Oh, shit. Okay, Link, you ready? Don't get hurt this time, please. Ah, jump back! Okay. I'm gonna use the technique where I'll stab once and then jump back. Okay, he's not gonna get me. If you dare, go twice like that. Sometimes the, your timing might be a little bit off and he'll get you like a surprise, so. All right, and when his first layer, oh shit! Damn it, Link, we're not supposed to do that again! His first layer of armor is off, then you're definitely in good shape because you can just stab at him and he's gone! He is down! Mm. Yeah! <laughs> big tough Linky Poo here. All right, we got a big present this time. Thank you for the bombs. Now, something I wanted to point out here. Streams of red liquid that looks like blood and piles of human skulls. What? Like first we have someone selling their soul to the devil. How much more dark could you get? Then we have all this. Yet the characters in this game can't bleed red blood. Seems legit, Nintendo. <laughs> Oh, it's too bad that when you walk on these piles of skulls, they don't make that crunchy, squishy sound like they do in Skyward Sword. Oh, it's so creepy, but I love it. It's a piece of heart. Meh. I have a ton of those already. Where's my piece of ass? <laughs> Come on, Link. I know you are lay sad, but we must leave. Oh! Goodness. Oh, dearie me, I did not have on my stone mask fast enough. Oh gosh, okay. Surprise bat rape there. Let's get our lens of truth so we can see where we're going and avoid these keys. No more surprise bat sex. Oh, I feel so violated. Why? Poor Link. I guess that was his piece of ass for the night. Oh, stupid bats. Oh, by the way, fun little fact. Contrary to popular belief, bats are not blind. It's not their best sense and they do use echolocation, but fruit bats actually use their eyes to look for their food. So, hmm. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. More tomb raiding next time.